One of the most common questions I get from people who want to start eating like us is what do you actually eat and not eat? I'll tell you what we eat on a whole food plant-based diet. I like to call it a whole plant food diet. Here we go. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. I make videos helping people to get on to a whole plant food diet and then stick to it forever. It is harder than just knowing what to eat. You actually have to do it every day. That's the hard part, is convincing your brain to go into the kitchen and eat the healthy foods and never buy the bad foods to begin with. I make videos all about teaching you how to do it, what recipes are fast and easy, and how really to take the complexity out of this way of eating. What not to eat? animal products. Animal products are a huge problem. You should read the China study by T. Colin Campbell. If you want to learn more, I'll put a picture of the book so you know what to look for. Read through that book and you'll learn that animal products eaten in excess are a huge problem. I know that we evolved eating some animal products. We were hunter gatherers and whatever, but the animal products we ate actually accounted for a very small percentage of the calories overall that we were eating. An excess of animal products is very problematic, especially in this day and age. Animal products are produced in the worst way imaginable. They're full of hormones and artificial garbage. They are not real food. So many people say, oh, it's meat, so it's got one ingredient. That's the most real food there is. No, it is not one ingredient. It's just that there's only one ingredient they actually have to put on the package. And that's what you're looking at through the cellophane is a dead, decaying animal, full of garbage and full of processed junk. And the only way to make it taste good is to put even more garbage into it, like cooking it with oil and butter, a ton of salt, these are the things that are getting us into trouble. Remove those animal products. I'm talking about the meat there. Now let's talk about dairy and eggs. Eggs full of cholesterol, terrible for your health. So many people are like, oh, the eggs are actually healthy. But really the reality is eggs are full of cholesterol, garbage that will clog your arteries and cause you to stroke out or have a heart attack. You don't want to be eating it. Number two, processed fake foods and junk oils. Everybody thinks oils are healthy. Again, anything you think there is in oil that's healthy, you can get from whole natural foods. You can just eat the food that the oil came from and that will have that stuff in it. Why eat avocado oil when you can have an avocado? Okay, we've talked about what to get out of the diet. Well, what does that leave you with? For the most part, it leaves you with healthy, whole natural foods that are very lightly processed, minimally processed, or not processed at all until you process them yourself on your cutting board. You know what I mean? When talking about what we do eat, I like to talk about calorie density. I have several videos on calorie density that you should definitely watch, especially if weight loss is your goal. And by the way, calorie density means the richness of food per bite of food. If you're brand new, you need to think about things in a few basic food groups, okay? These are not the food groups that you learned in school. I'm simply simplifying these food groups and they're based on calorie density. Food group number one is what I call non-starchy veggies. These are the things that are very low in calories, very high in nutrients, and add a lot of flavor to the food. Carrots, celery, onions, bell pepper, you can ring my bell, baby. Lettuce, all of the greens, herbs and spices, very low calories but add tons of flavor to the food. Lots of nutrition in the foods too. I don't chase after nutrients. I don't say, oh, I need to eat more of that because it's jam-packed with nutrients. I don't really think about it that way because I'm eating it for flavor and for variety and so the nutrients will just come along with it. You don't need to chase after all your nutrients. You don't need to worry about the way you're cooking foods or combining them together to unlock the powers of certain vitamins and minerals in these foods. No, just eat healthy food, eliminate the junk, eat the healthy stuff, and you're going to get a nice wide variety of nutrients that you need in order to stay healthy. That's what happens when you just eat healthy food and eliminate the junk. That first food group, like I said, very low in calories, very high in nutrients. The next food group is a little bit richer in calories, but still very healthy and whole and natural. That would be fruit. And I know your 10th grade science teacher told you that a tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable, but we're putting the tomato in the vegetable category. Oh, mushrooms are a fungi. That's not a vegetable. It's a vegetable for us. Put it in the vegetable category. We're moving on to fruit. Fruit is like what we all like traditionally consider fruit, okay? The sweet stuff that's whole that you eat off a tree. That's not tomato for me. Whole natural fruit that hasn't been dried, very, very healthy. These are what I would call the snack. You should eat these as a snack. Sure, you can make a fruit salad, you can add them to your dishes and cook with them, whatever. But for the most part, whole unprocessed fruit, I would say is treated as a snack for most people or a, you know, a breakfast item along with something richer like oatmeal, which fills you up. Which takes me to my next category, whole starches, also known as whole carbs healthy carbs, not the processed junk carbs like I was talking about before. Whole starches. So what are whole starches? These foods are going to be more calorie dense than the fruit. 
but less calorie dense than a bunch of that junk food that we eliminated from the diet. These are the foods that should be the basis of our calories. These are the foods that will fill us up. All legumes, beans, split peas, lentils, those are all legumes. Then you've got whole grains like rice, quinoa, oatmeal, corn. These are whole starches. Then you've got potatoes. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, russet potatoes, gold potatoes, red potatoes, very, very healthy foods. Some people are afraid of potatoes because they're high glycemic. It's not really something you need to worry about. If you're going through insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes, you may have to modify a little and not eat white potatoes for a little while while you're normalizing everything again. But carbs are not the thing that cause you to be unhealthy. They take the hit from so many people, so many doctors that are supposed to know this stuff. Carbs didn't make you sick. The insulin resistance that you might be experiencing is making it so that you can't eat carbs. That's not because the carbs caused it. It's actually the really, really high fat diet, the standard American food. If you eliminate that, you'll find that your type 2 diabetes will definitely start to reverse. There are a lot of resources from plant-based experts about type 2 diabetes, heart disease. There's Mastering Diabetes by the Mastering Diabetes guys. That's their organization excellent book for turning around type 2 diabetes, but also helping type 1 diabetes. There are a lot of ailments. I'll make another video about all the different ailments that can be helped with this diet, but we're just talking about what to eat. We've talked about the first three food groups. Let's talk about another one, and that would be the whole natural fats. These are much more calorie dense foods. This would be nuts, seeds, avocado. I guess soy products are still more in fat. They're, those are not all equal in this food group that I just mentioned, but they are the things that add flavor to the food, but they should be eaten in smaller amounts. I'm not going to sit here and say eat in moderation, intuitive eating, that stuff's all made up. What you need to do is understand that nuts are not for snacking on, they're for mixing into things to add flavor to foods. If you're just eating straight up nuts out of a bag, you're going to go right down the rabbit hole until that bag is gone. I know, I've been there, it still can happen to me from time to time, but nuts are not a health food just because you're eating them by themselves like crazy. You're going to store that fat over time if you keep doing it. So so you've got to use the nuts and seeds and avocado and things like that as flavor for your foods, as a condiment for your foods. I guess you could say there's one other group of foods, but it's really just from the other groups modified, and that is dried foods, okay? You can have dried fruit, you can have breads or whole, whole grain breads like the Ezekiel bread and other healthy whole wheat products. Those are still not whole natural unprocessed carbs, but they're still relatively healthy and you can eat them in not crazy high amounts. They're not going to help you if weight loss is your goal. They're richer. They're more calorically dense. Since we're talking about food, another consideration is this phrase, SOS free. I use it all the time because the products that we sell, which are convenience foods that are actually healthy, are all SOS free. That means there's no added SOS, salt, oil, sugar. Salt isn't necessarily an evil food. It sure can be for some people. All the standard American food in the world, whether you're getting it at a restaurant or in a grocery store, is loaded with salt. You can't have something taste bad if it's loaded with salt, pretty much. The problem with salt is it raises your blood pressure and can get you into all kinds of trouble with your health. It can also get you in trouble with your weight because it tastes so good from the salt that it causes you to overeat and you're already eating something you shouldn't be eating, but now you're gonna eat too much of it and you're in trouble. So salt can be really problematic. The best way to treat salt is to sprinkle it on the food. Like I said, all the products I sell on our website are totally free of added salt, but I'm not saying I don't eat any salt. Instead, I control my salt intake by sprinkling right on the food. We should all go back to using the salt shaker and eliminating salt from all of our cooking and the foods that we buy in stores. That would be the healthiest thing you can do for your body. The other S in SOS, sugar. We don't add any processed sugars to our food. We eat whole natural sugars. What are they? Dates. It has all the fiber. It's a whole food. You can eat dates like you know the wet kind and blend them up and make sauces and things like that. Or you can use date powder like we sell on our website, which is that a whole date that's been dried. So all the fiber, everything's there. It's a whole food. You can add it to a dish. It rehydrates into the dish. It adds a little bit of sweetness. It's awesome for baking and cooking and drinks and sauces and everything like that. But it's whole and it's natural. It's real food. The third and the worst in my opinion are oils. So many people think these oils are healthy. Oh, but what about flaxseed oil? Flax seeds are healthy. Yeah, eat flax seeds. You should eat flax seeds. You should grind them up into your food. You should definitely eat flax seeds and cheese seeds, they give you the good omega-3s that we need to be ingesting, but you don't need it as an oil. Don't need to grind it up, express out the oil, and then eliminate the fiber. We want to eat whole natural foods, not these garbage oils. There's nothing good about these oils that 
you can't get from other whole natural foods. Eat the whole food, scrap the oil. SOS free is a really good way to go if you're trying to be healthy. And if you want to save time, buy some of our healthy food products. I'm not selling you food, I'm selling you time. Because the hardest thing about this diet is actually doing it every single day. Eating healthy food, eliminating the junk. You've got all of your friends and family pushing you back to the dark side. You've got every TV commercial ad, targeted ad that you see pushing you back into junk food. It's very, very hard. And when you walk through the grocery store and it's like 90% junk food that you shouldn't be eating, Eating, it's hard for us to actually eat healthy food, so you need ways to make it really fast and easy, and that's what I'm selling you via our food products. They're not anything you couldn't create yourself at home by making them from scratch, but they will save you a lot of time, and when you've got to make every meal yourself, every little bit of time matters. I want to be playing with my kids some nights, not cooking, so I'll use our products, get a meal done fast, and I'll go frolic on the floor with the babies. That's how I live, and that's how we eat. I hope this helps answer your question. You beginners, stick to it. You can do this. Watch our videos, check out our recipe videos, dabble little by little, and you'll be ready to take this on in no time. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.